When I say circle of Willis, what is the first thing that comes into mind? Circle of Willis is a part of cerebral circulation. So, the blood supply to the cerebrum of the brain is derived from circle of Willis. Why it has got special name? The circle of Willis is made up of the branches from anterior cerebral artery, internal carotid artery and the basilar artery. So, different branches from these different main vessels of the blood supply of the brain, they form a circle around a area of brain. So, that is why it has got a name of circle of Willis. And the third point that should come into your mind is, when I say circle of Willis, its prime importance is, it acts like a backup system. So, it provides collateral circulation. What does it do? It provides collateral circulation. So, you know the basic points about circle of Willis. Let us now go into the details of where it is located, the anatomy and the clinical significance of circle of Willis. Circle of Willis, as I already told you, is also known as circulus arteriosus and it is located in the interpeduncular fossa. So, in the image shown here, this is the pons, that is the brain stem and we have two cerebral peduncles on the lateral aspects of this space. So, I am talking about this space and this space is the interpeduncular fossa. What is this? It is interpeduncular fossa. Interpeduncular fossa is located in between the cerebral peduncles and the posterior border is the pontine that is the pons and anteriorly there are two bodies known as mammillary bodies. So, what are those? Mammillary bodies. In front of the mammillary bodies, you can clearly see the optic chiasma and the optic nerve. So, now you know where is cerebral peduncles and interpeduncular fossa located. And this interpeduncular fossa, surrounding this interpeduncular fossa, we do have blood vessels. So, the branches from the major blood vessels of the cerebrum, they form a circle around the interpeduncular fossa, giving rise to circle of Willis. Now, let us see. What are the major branches which are giving rise to circle of Willis? See this. Let us begin from common carotid artery. The common carotid artery takes origin from the iota, right? So, iota gives rise to two arteries. One is common carotid artery, the other is subclavian artery. So, what are the two major arteries arising from the iota? There is right and left and right common and left common carotid artery. The common carotid artery gives rise to an internal and external carotid artery. What are the two branches? Internal and external carotid artery. This internal carotid artery is the major supply to the brain. Okay, It goes inside the skull and it supplies the major part of the brain. The internal carotid artery after entry into the brain, it divides into anterior cerebral artery, anterior cerebral artery, posterior communicating artery, posterior communicating artery and middle cerebral artery. You can see here, this is the internal carotid artery. From here, you can see one branch is ophthalmic artery which is not important for our discussion. Second branch is posterior communicating artery. This is the second. And you can see clearly the middle cerebral artery is the major branch from the internal carotid artery. And this is, this part is anterior cerebral artery. So, this anterior cerebral artery, this posterior communicating artery. Both of these, they take part in formation of circle of villus. The middle cerebral artery do not take part in formation of circle of villus. What is your take home? Middle cerebral artery, it do not take part in formation of circle of villus. Let us go to the subclavian part. The subclavian artery gives rise to right and left vertebral arteries. So, vertebral arteries are actually the branches of subclavian artery. The vertebral arteries, you can see here, vertebral arteries which are branches of subclavian artery, they unite together and their union forms. What is the union of 
vertebral arteries it is basilar artery you can clearly see the basilar artery so all these are not important for our discussion the anterior spinal artery anterior inferior cerebellar artery the pontine artery these are all not important but the end branch of the basilar artery what is this this is the posterior cerebral artery so i am just writing it vertebral arteries the give rise to basilar artery and from there they form posterior cerebral artery the posterior cerebral artery communicates with the posterior communicating artery so now you can clearly see one side we got basilar artery giving rise to posterior cerebral artery and the other side we have internal carotid artery giving rise to a posterior communicating artery and in the front we have anterior cerebral artery the this final loop of anterior cerebral artery is closed by a branch known as what is this anterior communicating artery now i am marking the major arteries which are involved in the formation of circle of willis number 1 is anterior communicating artery number 2 what is this the anterior cerebral artery number 3 what is this the posterior communicating artery number 4 posterior cerebral artery and number 5 is basilar artery so these five major arteries they form a circle so the circle of willis is this part and what is the location it is located in the interpeduncular fossa